Hi friends, I'm Miss Beth from Essex Public Library and welcome to Storytime at Home. Let's begin with our welcome song, The More We Get Together. And let's review what our signs that go along with this song is. We have more, we have together, put your fists together and your thumbs together and make a circle. We have happy and we have friends. This guy and this guy. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And how about an opposites rhyme? Let's see. I know. How about this is big, big, big. Now I need you to make your arms really big and you're gonna get really small and really short and really tall. Reach way up there. You ready? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, 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 reach out there. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. This is big, 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 make it big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. I wonder what in our world we're going to read about today. And I wonder who knows. Hmm. I know who we could ask. Brown Bear. Brown Bear is my friend at the library. But he likes to sleep a lot. Could you help me wake him up? by calling on the count of three, wake up brown bear, and we can see if he'll rise. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Wake up brown bear. I see some movement. Wait, he's combing his fur and brushing his teeth. Now he's getting his shirt button and here he comes. Brown Bear, so nice to see you today. You're looking so dapper. Very handsome for a brown bear. Well, Brown Bear, my friends and I have a question for you. What in our world are we going to read about today? He says he brought a hint with him. Wow, that big, are you sure? Oh, okay, let me, let me show, let me show everybody. Wow, look at this. Can you see it? Do you have any idea? what it is? What's that? A snail shell? I, I think you're right. It's a giant snail shell. Brown Bear, are we going to read a story about snails today? 
We are. Wow, I can't wait. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Our story today is Snail Crossing, written and illustrated by Corey R. Tabor and read with permission from HarperCollins Books. Hmm, looks like someone has left a path. I wonder who it could be. Hmm. There's that path again. And there are those words again, snail crossing. One lucky day, Snail was out scooting around when he saw the most beautiful sight. What do you think it was? A field of plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the road. That's a long way. Do snails move quickly or slowly? Snail had been traveling for some time when he decided to take a break. Why, I must be nearly there, thought Snail. How far has he come? He was watching the grumbling gray clouds when he felt something coming his way. What it was, Snail couldn't say. Some things are too big and fast for snails to ponder. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the thing. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Hey, you, you're standing in our way. We've got a road to cross here, yelled a troop of rowdy ants. And they probably would have carried on like that if it hadn't started to rain. Rain, cried the ants. Help, help, help. Cabbage bound or not, Snail couldn't just leave them there. Come in said Snail. Come in before you drown. Where are they going? Do you think there's room? It's dark. Tea? asked Snail. Oh, please. Thank you. That would be lovely, said the ants. Click. turned on the light. Is this what you imagined was in snail shell? We're sorry about earlier, terribly sorry. Sometimes we get a bit antsy, said the ants. Oh, I know the feeling, said snail. And he told them all about the plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Hmm, said the ants. Hmm. When the rain stopped, the ants said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Well, I hope you'll come back soon, said Snail. Count on it, said the ants, and off they went. Now, where was I, said Snail to himself. Ah, yes, 
snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. He looks pretty determined, doesn't he? Snail was scooting right along when he noticed something standing in his way. <laughs> Lunch, said the hungry crow. Well, you won't eat me, said Snail. Can't, you see I'm cabbage bound. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. Oh, he's starting to spin. Is it working? Is Crow confused? Honk, honk. And just like that, Crow was gone. Snail was very relieved, but a little dizzy from all the spinning. Cabbage bound, I'm cabbage bound, head on the clouds and foot on the ground. Sca snail scooted and scooted and scooted and hooray, said Snail. I made it. But where was the cabbage? Can you follow Snail's trail? What happened? Oh, he got all dizzy and then he went back to the wrong side. Well, shoot, said Snail. But what was that on the horizon? Could it be? It was. The cabbage was coming to Snail. <gasps> Hooray, said Snail. What happened? Who's brought him the cabbage? <gasps> snail bound, where snail bound? Thank you, he said to the ants. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Then the new friends went inside for cabbage soup and tea, and no one felt antsy at all. Well, it sounds like Snail got a lunch and some new friends out of his adventure. That reminds me of an action rhyme about a snail. This snail lives in the garden. And here is his shell. You make a shell with his, your fist. And here is his body. And he's going to go very slowly. Can you help move him? And if you have a little person, you can do this on their arms and make it into a tickle at the end. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, crept the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Who else was in the garden? A little mouse. And do they run quickly or slowly? Quickly. Quickly, quickly, very quickly ran the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly to his little house. Squeak! Slowly, slowly, very slowly crept the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly ran the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly to his little house. Squeak! And because Snail made friends with a bunch of ants, why don't we do a counting rhyme about ants? Now these ants didn't know Snail 
and so they had to go searching for a picnic where they could eat. So here we go. Let's put them up here. And are you ready to march like some ants? Five hungry ants marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. <sighs> Choo! How many's left? Four hungry ants marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! How many's left? Three hungry ants marching in a line. They came into a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, ah, choo! How many's left? Two hungry ants marching in a line. They came into a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah-choo! One's left. One hungry ant marching in a line. It came upon a picnic where it could dine. It marched into the salad. It marched into the cake. It marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Achoo! They're all gone. More salad for us. That's good deal for me. Well, friends, I hope you had fun with me today at story time. It's time for our goodbye song, Wave High, Wave Low. Wave high, wave low. Now it's time we've got to go. Wave your elbows, wave your toes, wave your tongue, la, 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 and wave your nose. Wave your ears and wave your eyes. Wave your hands and say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>